And Ron has been telling us we're heading for another cold snap coming up this weekend. Yeah, and when that happens, we pay for it in a lot of ways, not the least of which is our skin, which cracks and often bleeds incredibly painful. New this morning, John Shumway went looking for some help when it comes to our skin. John. Yeah, and you know, some people are much more susceptible to this than others, but if you are a sufferer, I'm right there with you, and it can be very painful. That oh so cold air is coming back, which adds to our misery. Relative humidity in our air drops in the winter months. That gas burning in our furnaces may wrap us in warmth, but that heating of the air is sucking all that what is left of the humidity in the natural air. It's just sucking it right out. It's even drier inside our homes, which were mostly indoors, right, all winter long. Pittsburgh skin dermatologist Dr. Charles Mount says that dry air is not the only culprit. With extra hand washing, cough, cold, flu season, um, perhaps wrong kinds of soaps, um, all that is leading to general dry skin overall. The hands usually take the brunt of it. Plus, COVID has put antibacterial soap at our fingertips. That chronic antimicrobial exposure is very irritating to our skin. But you want to use something to correct the dryness. Any open rash is going to be uncomfortable with soap exposure. Even creams can feel uncomfortable. It's a lot of open nerve endings when you have extensive rash, severe dry skin, eczema type of things. Um, it's a lot of products can be uncomfortable until it heals. Yeah, and Dr. Mount has some suggestions for what you should use. He says the best is good old fashioned Vaseline, which most folks shy away from because they just don't like that greasy feeling. Right. Yeah. It does feel really greasy when oh, you use does. Vaseline. Absolutely. Now, there are so many lotions and creams out there, and I have to admit, I use a lot of the smell good ones. I mean, like I think most people do. Yeah, no doubt about it, but that is exactly what you want to avoid. If it oh. smells nice, of course. Oh. What makes it smell nice is not good for your skin. And we'll talk more about his recommendations and some of that kind of stuff. And by the way, that applies to soap, too. We'll talk about that coming up. I always like how it's something I do and you're like, that's not good. <laughs> we got better options no, for you. No, right. Oh, Lindsay. <laughs> oh, no. oh, Lindsay. I learned so much from you, John. No, Thank but a you. lot of us do that. So it's a good question. All right. Thanks, John. We'll talk to you in a bit.